I shall play it on the internet. Why are you going to ask me? What's it like to be 96? Not much different from when I was 95. <laughs> but a little bit older and a little bit wiser. And what do you think of life now compared to when you were younger? No, sometimes it's miserable, sometimes I'm alright, sometimes I'm not. Each day varies from day to day. What about the, the most problem I have is dealing with people. Why is that? Because everybody's different and, you know, I mean... Is that, are you, am I speaking on there now? Yeah. You're just talking to me. My life's a lot different from when it was when I was younger. There wasn't television, there wasn't anything. We made all our own amusements, playing games and not even doing puzzles then. But everything was... Everything in the whole world has changed. And it's not always for the best. What do you think of all the new technology? Yeah, you know, I mean, at one stage, uh, television and even radio. I mean, when we were younger, when Nora and me, when we got a radio, oh my goodness, we were... We could listen to dance music and we could, you know, and, um, but now, you know, I mean, even having a washing machine, I never, we never had a washer, never had a fridge, everything was so simple. Yeah. Not like it is now, but you have to live with the times, haven't you, and just... Well, yeah. What about the politics? What do you think about politics? Well, I don't understand them, so with everything, anything that I don't understand, I don't get involved. I mean, let's face it, um, without Churchill and whoever was in Parliament then, we wouldn't have got through the war. And thank goodness we did. Huh. So, I was 16 when the war broke out, so went all through the blackout and rationing and just took it all in your stride and you didn't just got on with it, you know. What do you think about young people? Walking to work, uh, setting up from home about quarter to seven, up in the streets, and then suddenly, because it was blackout, crashing into a, into a, a lamppost and seeing stars. <laughs> I always remember one particular instance, and I was walking up this street from Gibraltar Street, and oh, right. You know, um, well, you, you just didn't bother, you just got, uh, oh my goodness, and then you had to carry on and walk to work. <laughs> so, I mean, there's not a lot of younger people now start work at 7 o'clock, is there really? Unless they work in Are you totally ready for a mill or something, I don't know what time. But we work long hours for very little money. But that was the way that it was. That was it. From the latest probiotics to remedies for tummy problems with talking. What do you think about youngsters these days? What do you think about youngsters these days? About the what, Youngsters. 
youngsters, well, a lot of them will be really spoiled. Um, Here's to that damn thing. Here's to family. Don't Which really know. I've not had right. much dealings with a lot of youngsters, but. I think they've lost a lot of the respect that we had when we were younger for... Oh yeah, we, we had a lot of respect for our grandparents and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of respect for our grandparents and aunties and uncles, oh yeah. And I mean, when, oh, I, uh, when we were all young, uh, when Nora and me, we all had our same place at the table, yeah. Mum and Dad. Just, uh, when was there, Nora was there and I was here. And before every any meal, oh, we all said way. grace for what we are about to receive. Make the Lord going. make us no, truly thankful. Hmm. Amen. Uh, and that was it. Then we could oh, get on with the meal. And we did that every single... Well, I'm not saying well, breakfast well, time because well, we were all well, starting well, well, work well, at well, different well, times. Well, so we were all, we all got up together and mum and dad were still sure in bed, you see. Hmm. Um, but we, you know, got up on our own, we made some lunch, as I always used to take toast or whatever for my lunch at the laundry. And uh, that was life, part of life. Yeah, because there was no, there was no place to go and buy a sandwich. Pardon? There was no place to go and buy a sandwich oh, when you were working. She always took your own, and I mean, I used to go up the garden at Melbourne Road and get a tomato off and go to some bread and butter and eat the tomato and the bread, and you couldn't wait to get uh, your drink. And there used to be this girl who used to come round and collect your tea and your sugar and coffee and you all had your own mug and then she used to go up in the room upstairs and brew them all and then when you could see all the cups you know smoking you knew that it was nearly lunch time and you couldn't wait for the buzzer to go to go and get something to eat and, uh, uh, apart from me, Every, I, all you, your whole of your days were all mapped out the same thing day after day, day after day. It's the children with cerebral palsy and it'll be perfect for her. And I've got a friend who runs wedding shows all across the North East and she said that I can stay until I find somewhere for me. Is there, any, is there anything in your life that you wish you'd done that you didn't do? Pardon? Is there anything in life that you wish you'd done that you didn't do? This is not your decision. I don't, I don't know, I think I was always in that kind of a world where it was like singing and tap dancing and toe dancing. Maybe I, I'd like to have been. I always said, going on the stage, but not sweeping it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was always into that world of... Uh, Ballet dances and you know ballet clothes and yeah. pretending I could toe dance, you know. Come on, <laughs> so I really should have, you know, maybe deep down, I, I, I was should have been either a dancer or something on the stage. Oh no, 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 no! Wait, seriously, you're not thinking of driving this thing, right? What's wrong with it? You have to ask. You're running a business. You need a car. It's for both of you, obviously. What's the thing you remember most about the war? About the war? Hearing on the radio, we are at war with Germany, and saying to my father, what does, what does all this mean now? I mean, I was 16, so I mean, I was at an age where... I should have been a little bit intelligent, and my father said, well, you know, the, there'll be bombers coming over and we'll have bombs and people will have to go to war, join up and that, you know, 
Mm. And then we left it at that. And then we all had to get buy blackout curtain. And I remember buying, my mum bought this very, very dark green material. And when made the curtains with roughly tape, and, you know, we had to make sure there wasn't a chink of light showing. Mm. Nobody was allowed to smoke outside. Um, and everything was black well, uh, I'll get the right? There wasn't a light in the streets. And y'all had a torch, you know. Mm. But I mean, the most thing I remember about the war, hey, when, you when you I know, was walking up oh, no, Dean and moonlight night and oh, seeing right, all right. the German so planes in the sky oh, and me thinking, oh, they're close. And I just happened to get in the air raid shelter right. at the end of Punch Street so and the say, whole of Punch bye. Street was thumb. So you see, if I am to have got oh, in the shelter that down, night, yeah. I would have been killed. Work, yeah. 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 It's as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have been here. And when, when the Sorry. bomb dropped, oh, all on. the you dust and parts of the... Oh, they yeah. all fell in. And yeah. I, I wasn't injured, but I was covered in dust. Mm -hmm. And, so and so all I remember was the air raid warden shouting, Listen, is there anybody the down there? there? And of course they I shouted, yes, it's it. me, you know. And he came down we then and talk. asked me where Just I lived and took me back home. So you were, you were by yourself? Hmm? You were by yourself? Oh, yeah, I was by myself. Hmm? I'd walked home, you see. Could I miss the tram, which I always did? <laughs> and um, not his phone. and then my father took me out on the Monday morning and said look and every window and every shop and every house was out um, and he, he just said you know and I said well that's why I got in the shelter you know I had, if I if I had to got in the shelter I would have been killed with shrapnel or whatever or seriously injured so you see it wasn't meant to be was it no. I still had to be alive till I'm 96 <laughs> but um, I mean it was the war and he didn't dwell on it you know and um, just got on with things everything food was rationed we had to make do and mend and Sorry, uh, we can come back later if you want to have a bit of little luxuries. It's going on very well, the conversation. Oh, you're doing very well, yes. <laughs> so if you if you could uh, say something to everybody in the world about what you feel now, was there anything that you would say to people about living their life in the best way? Don't do anything when you're younger to make your parents worry about you. Because, I mean, when you are young, well, you, you, you just don't think about things like that. Whereas I've got older, and me, how oh, I worry about even Janet and Susan and Catherine, even though they've grown up, and you. Um, so, I mean, my parents... And I mean, I'm not saying I didn't give a damn, but I mean, I'd, I'd be dancing at the pallet and knowing full well I should have caught the last tram, but you don't. Then you, you walk, you know, you're walking home and, and I'm saying to myself, oh, I must be stupid. Why didn't I come out earlier? And But you see, when you're young, you do things that you you know you wouldn't do when you're older. Yeah. So you do learn something as you go through life. Thinking I wish I'd done that differently. Where you are. You still left asking the same questions. Um Yeah. Any more questions, look? Yeah. It's clear, isn't it? Anyway, I'll back it back to the farm. No, I can't really say Thank you. Have any big regrets in my life? I mean, 
if that had stayed true to Richard Dick Battersby, I wouldn't have had Mum or Susan, Catherine, you. So, you know, that's it in, in a nutshell, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's awful. Part of us wishes she was. Yeah, me too. I mean, like talking about Burnham Park now. I remember I'd only just started going out with your grandpa. And I mean, I knew where he lived, but I'd never met Grandma and Grandpa Entrissel. And when I heard about all the barriers collapsing, um, I immediately walked from Melbourne Road right up Willers Lane and onto Double and knocked at the door. And uh, Grandma Entrissel came to the door and asked the door, I said, I'm just inquiring about. Percy, you know, being, and she more or less just probably shouted of your grandpa to come to the door, and uh, he said, oh, I said, you're all right, and he said, yeah, and then he, he like, kind of walked me back home then, so, I mean, that was the first time I'd ever met grandma, and her knowing that there was something going on between us. <laughs> And thanks to Nicola selling him her watch and, and share, uh, we are now the majority shareholders. The rest is history. <laughs> and then he let it burn. Can the you play all that back really? to me? Yeah. I think it's time we had our first <laughs>